Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will talk about Spark Join and how to use them. So, let's start the video. Till now, in our Spark series, we have only worked with one data frame. But in real life, you may have two or more DF and you may need to join them together to get some meaningful output. So, joins are basically bringing two or more data frame together. For example, let's say I have two data frame as employee DF and department DF. For joining these two data frames, you need two things that is join condition and join type. So for the employee DF and department DF, if I have to write a join condition, it will look like employee DF dot department ID equals department df dot id and the join type is inner join. So if I have to write the actual join code, it will look something like this. Employee df dot join department df and then the joining condition followed by join type. For this case, we are using inner join. Inner join is the default join for Spark. So if you skip join type, Spark will take inner join by default. So this inner join will select rows that have matching values in both the relations. For our case, it will have all the matching values of department ID from employee DF with ID from the department DF. So in the join output, you will see all the records except this because there is no ID with the value D1022 in the department DF. Let's see all this by an example. So let me go to my ID and write some code to perform this inner join. This is my IntelliJ ID. I have already created a project with the name as Learning Spark. And com.spark.tutorial is my package name. So let me create a Scala object. Right click on the package, go to new and click on Scala class. Select Scala object over here. Give a name to your Scala object. I will give the name as Spark Join. So this is my Scala object. Let me create a main method. So I will write def main args which is Array of type string. Let me set the logger level as error so that I can remove info logs from the console. So I will write logger which is of type Apache log 4j dot get logger and the class is org dot set level. I will set the level as error. Now I will create a Spark instance. So I will write val spark equals spark session dot builder dot app name. I will set the app name as spark join and then dot master. I will set the master as local since I am running spark on my local system and at the last get or create. So my Spark session object is created. Now let me quickly create employee schema and department schema and its corresponding values which can be used to create a data frame. So this is my employee schema with ID, name, joining date, and department ID. Whereas department schema has ID and department name. And these are the values for employee and department. Now let's convert this into a data frame. So I will write val employee df equals spark, which is a spark session object dot create data frame. And over here employee list dot 2df 
and over here I will pass the employee schema. So I can write employee schema underscore asterisk. If you want, you can directly write the column names in 2DF function. So let me copy this from here and paste it over here. Now let's create department DF in the same manner. So I will write val department DF equals spark dot create data frame and this time it will be department list dot to df and the schema which is department schema underscore asterisk. This basically means to pass all the elements of department schema over here. Let's have a look to our employee df by employee df dot show and department df by department df dot show. Let's save the code and execute it. Right click run SQL join. Okay, so this is our employee df and this is our department df. Now let's perform an inner join and see. Let me comment out this code as we don't need this anymore. So for the join condition, I will write val join condition equals employee df dot column and over here I will mention the column name which is department id equals department df dot column which is id. So this is my joining condition. Now the join statement will look like employee df dot join and in the bracket department df comma joining condition which is join condition comma join type and for our case it is inner. As we know inner join is the default join. So if you don't mention any join type spark will take inner join by default and at the end dot show to view the result. Let's save the code and execute it. Right click run SQL join. Ok the output looks good. The output contains all the matching records from both the df. Now if I ask you to get only id and name from the employee df and department name from the department df, is it possible? Just pause the video and give a try. I hope you have got the answer. If no, just have a look how I am doing it. Over here I will write select employee df in the bracket id comma employee df and the column name which is name comma department df and the column name which is department underscore name. So it should give me id and name from employee df and department name from the department df. So let's execute the code and see. Right click run spark join. So this is the expected output. As you can see we have all the matching records from both the sides but only id, name and department name as the columns. So in today's video we have learned how to perform a join on two data frame. We have also seen how to select specific columns from the join output. So friends, we are done with today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such video. Thank you.